this video we are going to uh, use Raptor, a programming module created by the Air Force to help students learn in programming. Now we're going to use Raptor, this program right here, to uh, create a program that's going to uh, do a few things. Well, it's going to, the ultimate uh, what we're going to have it do is calculate the body mass index. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to use sequence structure. We're going to create some inputs, some outputs, assignments, and modules. Uh, modules being subroutines or functions. And we're going to have these modules do some stuff and return the value to the main module, which happens to be up here. So, in a nutshell, the reason why I'm doing this is because it took me a little bit to figure out how to get Raptor to return something to the main module. Uh, so, I'm, I figure, you know, maybe someone else might have the uh, same issue. So, let's get started here. Let's look at what we're going to do here. We're going The program description, we're going to calculate a person's body mass index. We will get the weight and the height from the user. We will use this formula to calculate the body mass index, which will be order of operations will be height squared divided by weight multiplied by 703. The modules we're going to create or the functions we're going to create, however you want to word it, is going to be the main, which is created automatically. We're going to create the get weight module. We're going to create the get height module and we're going to create the calculation calculate module for the calculations variables we're going to use we're going to use an int variable called weight we're going to use an int variable called height feet we're going to use an int variable called height inches we're going to use an int variable called height and we're going to use a double for BMI short for uh, body mass index and when we actually translate this formula here to get the BMI we're going to write it out this way right here And uh, here's just some pseudo code well, that you can take a look at right here. So let's get started. Let's create this program. Let's, we're going to use this. We're going to just follow along this. So first thing we want to do is we're going to want to get the weight from the user. So in order to create a subroutine or, or a function, we're going to use the call symbol in Raptor. And we're going to name this one. We're just simply, all we're doing right now is we're going to name this get weight. Okay, and do you wish to create a new tab named get weight? Yes, we do. And I'll show you why we're doing this after we get done. And now we're going to uh, create another one in main. We're going to create another function. We're going to call this one get height. Whoops, didn't stick. Let's try that again. There we go. All right. And we're going to cr uh, create one final one. And it's going to be calculate. And there we go. We have R. We have our uh, structure made out now, and so let's get to doing a, working on these various uh, functions here and put what we need in them. Okay, so let's take a look at get weight. What we want to do is we want to get the user to enter their weight. So we're going to create an input, double click on it, and quotations, enter your weight. And close quote, uh, quotation, and then we're going to assign a variable here, which is weight. All right, and then the next uh, module we're going to work on is going to be get height, and this one here is going to consist of two parts, feet and inches. So we're going to enter your height in feet. Quotation. Quotation, we're going to call this one height feet. If you remember, we have our variables listed here, so we know what we're calling them. And we're going to 
get the remaining inches. So we're going to inches, and we'll call this one high inches. Whoops, using the camel hump uh, for naming the variables here. Height inches. And now we want to get it to calculate this. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create an assignment here. And we're going to set, and you remember we got the height variable. We're going to set height is equal to height feet. Feet times 12. 12 inches per foot plus whatever remaining height inches are. So we have that assignment done. And now we want to go calculate. So what we're going to do on the uh, calculate is we're going to create an assignment. Now because we already have it down here rather than me type it in, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this right here. Uh, and calculate, what we want to do is we want to do an assignment to calculate. So what we're going to do, we're going to set BMI, we're creating a variable here, BMI, and we're going to set it to what we have right here. Let me move this out of the way. Go ahead and just copy and paste that formula there. Alright, and then we're going to output... Your body mass index is so your BMI is quotation and then we're going to just assign the variable BMI from our selection we just did okay so now let's go back to main and we'll step through this start get weight enter your weight notice how it jumped over to this function here get weight so we're going to enter the weight let's say 175 and we're going to keep stepping and we're going you notice we're about to go to the get height function here now get height step through any of your height and feet let's say five foot And then it comes to enter your height in inches. We'll say 11 inches. And then it's going to calculate our height for us. And, we, and if you notice over here to the side, it's, it's doing all these calculations for us. Our height has been converted to a total of 71 inches. So we're going to step through. And now we're going to calculate BMI. And we notice we got the calculate functions open. And we're going to step through. And our BMI is 24.4049. And I know from uh, looking at the U.S. government's website on what's considered okay, not overweight or not obese, anything under 25 is considered okay. Well, there's a point where you're too skinny, but uh, this would be considered perfect according to the U.S. government. So, so if you value their opinion at all and then we're at the end of the program now each time we called and it, it, we called and it returned back to main to grab the next function and then it returned back to main to grab the next function and the next function is where it ended at we actually had our output put here I could have put the output on main if I wanted to I just didn't and that's really all there is to creating some functions to send a return back to your main function in Raptor. Now, if you want to see other videos, uh, I have some C uh, Sharp, some Java programming. I have some uh, some uh, C++ videos. And my website's main thrust is uh, how to use Adobe like Illustrator, Photoshop, and uh, WordPress and Dreamweaver. Uh, that's the main thrust of the website. Uh, visit www.skeeterz71.com.